Hello everyone, my name is Rafiq Wani. In this short demonstration, I'm going to show you how to work with native Excel files using PowerShell. I'm using the Import Excel PowerShell module that's available. I'm using PowerShell version 5.1 and I'm on a Windows 10 box. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So right here is PowerShell. If I type host like so in PowerShell, you'll see that I'm using PowerShell version 5.1. Also, if you issue a find module, if I know how to spell correctly, import Excel, like so, eventually it'll go out to PS Gallery and find the import Excel module. Once it finds it, all you have to do is issue the install module import Excel. I've already done it, and it will import this module into your PowerShell environment. Once it does that, all you have to do is issue a import module, import Excel, and just like that, it will get the module and install it and make it available to you. So if I issue a get module, import Excel, this tells you that it was added in. Once this has been added in, let me show you the great power this has. I'm going to go to the work directory where I have my PowerShell, my Excel file uh, saved. I've got a file called PS Example. So if you look right here, PS Example. Hey, there it is. Hey, there's the file. Right now it's blank. Let me add some data in here. I'm going to put in Cust ID, customer name. I'm going to put in Cust ID 100, 200, 300. Put in customer name, Oracle, Microsoft, Cisco. I'm going to save this. Okay, and I'm going to save this sheet as customers. I'm going to create a new sheet and call this one user ID, username, user ID 100, 200, 300. Put in username, John, Alex, and Jane. Save this and change this to users, like so. So now I have a, uh, a workbook called PS Example, a worksheet called Customers, and another worksheet called Users. You see that? PS Example. There it is right there. Okay. So let me show you. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to say Import Excel, just like that. PS example, PS example. Look, here it is. Ooh, nice and easy, isn't it? So no, <laughs> it's just called users. Look, it grabbed me the users worksheet. Change this up here to say customers, and it will give me customers data. Isn't that cool? So if I say user info, equals import Excel and I type in PS example like so and then I say worksheet name and I say users that'll be user info and if I say customer info cust info like so store to a var and just change this to customers and then say user info and then say cust info Ooh, <laughs> it's kind of neat, isn't it? So really, what I'm trying to show you is that you are able to grab information inside of PowerShell. Okay? You're able to grab information inside of PowerShell utilizing um, really the import module, the import Excel module available um, very, very easily. Click. Isn't that easy? So the steps that I took to get this accomplished were as follows. I first did a find module import Excel. Eh, it's not case sensitive. Yeah, so you could do it uppercase, lowercase, really doesn't matter. So I did this first. Then, once I got this done, I did a install module 
import Excel, like so. Once I found it and I installed it, then it was time to import module import Excel, just like that. Once I get this, I issue a get module import Excel to make sure that it's actually installed correctly. So this locates it. This, well, <laughs> installs it on my system. This over here uh, adds it, makes it available to PowerShell. This confirms that it was loaded. Once this is done, you simply issue import Excel and the name of the Excel spreadsheet. In my case, the name of the Excel spreadsheet was psexample.xlsx. Ah, sx, like that. Okay, and this right over here is the either the full name of the path or it's essentially the current location of the directory. So you could say c colon backslash work, like that. Or if it's in the current directory, it will assume that you want to be in the current directory. This represents the current directory, and this is the name of the file. So this will import it, basically make it, I should really say load it, <laughs> and make it available to you. If, on, if you want to use worksheet names, you can simply issue a import Excel followed by the name of the uh, Excel spreadsheet, and then do a dash worksheet name, and then I use users. And this will load the worksheet within the spreadsheet, if you will. And this really how simple it is. Once you do this, once it loads it, you can save anything as you can in PowerShell anyway. You can save anything to a variable, just like I'm doing here. I save the result of this command, which is loading the uh, customer's worksheet into the cust info var. Yeah? So this way, once it loads it, I can issue cust info. And similarly, I did a user info, so it saves user information. Well, then I can do with it what I please. Okay? So this was showing you how to work with native Excel files in PowerShell using the import Excel PowerShell module. Very glad you were here. Hope you learned something.